about it last night, but are you surprised at maybe the lack of recognition that Taj has gotten nationally considering some of the numbers he's put up? Yeah, I, I really am. I mean, you know, when you start looking at his passing efficiency and and um, obviously the yards that he's thrown for, the touchdowns he's thrown for, um, it has. It's, it's kind of surprised me. I mean, he'll get mentioned and then you know, kind of almost like it just goes away. <clears throat> but, uh, you know, all that comes with it, uh, comes with the territory and you know, we expect, uh, excuse me, we expect, uh, you know, Taj's performance each week to be at the top of his game. And, and uh, uh, you know, hey, that's all we can control. Um, we're extremely proud of the way he's playing. Uh, obviously, we wouldn't be in the, the, uh, the situation we're in right now, the success that we've had this year without, the, without his style of play. is much better than it was a year ago. Do you think the success the team has in the first half each week is maybe hurting that? He's, everybody's only seeing this for a half. And he's I, I really do. Numbers. I really do. Over the last, what, three weeks, you know, he's he's essentially played a half, just a little bit over a half, not quite three quarters. And uh, and I and I do. Maybe maybe that's hurt him a little bit um, and get some of the exposure and the recognition. But, uh, uh, you know, but we can't control that. You know, all we can do is control how we play and, and how we approach each day, and, and all that other stuff will take care of itself in due time. For the third straight week, the backups have played a lot in the second half. After going back in the film, have they improved each week? They have. They, they really have. I mean, we've show, shown a, uh, a lot of improvement um, in our offensive line, especially, and, that, and that's the area that we were really focused on, trying to get create some depth, and, and um, you know, it's only going to do, it's only going to make us a better football team uh, as, uh, as the year goes, as we get into spring ball, and then get into next year. So. I'm excited that these guys have had had live reps and uh, um, and, and game experience. I mean, that's that's something you can't coach. Dabo mentioned David Beasley last night. Played pretty well. Yeah, you know that, that was a, a pleasant surprise. Uh, David was a dude. You know, he had he had had uh, two just average performances the the week before. We really tried to challenge David um, uh, throughout the course of the last two weeks, not just last week, but the last two weeks. And, um, you know, pulled him out of practice at times. I mean, we, we, we were rotating guys in and out there. You know, we, we had to get his level back up to where it was in fall camp when he was trying to earn the job. <clears throat> and, and so those were – that was something I was glad to see. I think he was our, our lineman of the week. and But uh, well-deserved. I thought he played probably his most physical game as he has all year. How would you assess Giff and Timothy's year? You know, Giff is a uh, – Giff, Giff is getting better. Um, he actually showed a, a few signs of being uh, – uh, you know, kind of having some some dominating performances out there, and, and matter of fact, showed a little bit of a hard edge at times. I had to rewrite the film and make sure that uh, uh, you know, man, that's that, that steps in the right direction right there, and, and definitely be things that we'll we'll uh, commend him on today in our meetings, and, and, and proud of him. He's getting better. Um, he's starting to figure it out. Um, still, still, we we've still got a long way to go, but. Uh, He's he's played uh, he's he's played well over the last few weeks, and it's been good to see him gain some confidence, um, you know. And, and and I'm glad to see that because he's been a he's been a pleasant surprise for us this year, really has.